fossiling in Florida and some of the things you need and show you how our box is set up. I've had some questions about it. So uh, we use a little bit non-traditional method. We use a two box system. So we made these ourselves and our top box we use a half inch mesh wire and we built the frame around it. We put two handles on it and we make a slightly larger box down below. And this one we use quarter inch mesh. So the two fit right inside each other really well. So the theory is when you're shoveling, you want to sift through the top one and you got to kind of shake the sand out as you're going. And you'll get all your bigger rocks and your meg teeth and all that kind of stuff. Any mammal fossils will be in this top upper mesh. And then you can quickly look through that and that's also going to be your heaviest rock. And then you can dump this. We have it tied on to our other box. You can dump it out and then look through this. But it also allows you to get more shovel pulls through the top mesh before you have to sift the bottom mesh because you're removing that heavy weighted down stuff so your your box won't sink. So to keep your box from floating away we actually have another handle tied onto our lower box with a piece of just uh, polypropylene line and we'll tie on a five pound just a regular uh, exercise weight onto that and you can throw it up current from you in the river so the box kind of sits near you and then you can shovel hands free and your box will just float right next to you which is really uh, handy um, so we use pool floats on the sides for flotation uh, I put a screw through the uh, pool noodles and then I also take some polypropylene line and screw it around there to give it a little extra stability and to keep it from ripping out. Another thing you're going to want to know is uh, you got to pick a good shovel. If you're going to use one of these traditional cheap wooden shovels you'll see the wood starts cracking over time and you're going to want to make sure you bring a spare. Last time we went we had one of the handles crack off and break on us. They're just not sturdy enough. You get a lot of suction in the bottom of the river when you're digging. So we actually found at Lowe's they carry this brand of cobalt steel and this is a really nice heavy-duty shovel it says it comes with a lifetime warranty the handle is completely steel so I really don't think you're gonna get any bending or breaking out of this one we used it last time we went and it worked uh, wonderfully it's a, it's a really good shovel so another thing to keep in mind when you're looking for a place to dig you want to find an area with gravel and the bigger the gravel the better if you're in a real sandy area, you want to keep moving along until you find a nice gravelly area. And the bigger rubble tends to hold the bigger teeth. The kind of sediment, uh, all the particles of the same size sediment tend to settle out in the same area of the river. So if you are if you find an area with nice big chunks of bone and rock, that's your best bet. And you want to try to keep digging in the same hole. So usually what I'll do is as I'm digging along, I dig, 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 and when I'm ready to sift through my box, I'll take my shovel and shove it right in the hole and put it down in there so it's sticking up out of the river. So when I go back towards shore so Thor and I can sift through the box, that uh, shovel will be in the same exact hole so I can find it and just keep digging down further into that same hole. That way if you're ever digging in the same area someone else has dug, hopefully you're going to break through uh, their rubble pile and get down to the good stuff that hasn't been sifted before. So we've gone twice this year. It's Thor's first time going and he had a lot of fun I think. We found tons of teeth, right Thor? Yeah, like this. Meg. Yeah, that's his best tooth we found. The Meg. And, and I found this in our backyard. Yeah, he said he found that somewhere in our backyard. I don't it know. It was right over there. Where it came from. Just laying from. like that. That's crazy, but you can see he's got Tons of small teeth Mammoth we found. Teeth. These are all lemons. These are tigers. These are hemis. These are megs. This is turtle shells. These are bones. These are stingray barbs, mouthpieces of fish, and fossilized shells. And
All right, so if you guys keep watching, we'll show you some of the uh, footage of us digging the river so you can see how it's done. If you have any questions, put them down below. Thanks. Two shark teeth. We got this one. And we got quite a few more, as you can see. So we're going to look in here and shark teeth. tricked by these little pieces of rock that look just like shark teeth. Throw that out there. Comment down below if you see any shark teeth. There's another one. I got a little bit of a broken bone. Now we are going to see who this is. Comment down below if you see any shark teeth. Looks like a fossilized uh, poop. Okay. That's what it looks like to me. Looks like a little actual shark tooth. Look at that. That looks just like a shark tooth. Look at the size of this shark tooth. Sight. Leaf. It looks just like a shark tooth. Look like a megalodon shark tooth. Oh, I, I just saw something fall down. That's a good bone. Yeah. That's a good bone. Throw it up there. I'll pick it up in a minute. Barb and a shark tooth, just like that. Yeah, make sure you hold it flat or you won't get it. There you go. It's pretty hard, huh? If the current weren't running so hard, it'd be much easier. So you gotta do it facing the current or it's gonna blow off the shovel when you pick it up. and then I'll dig in our hole. There you go. <laughs> That's hard work, huh? Harder than you thought? Yeah. There's a nice temperature today. Feels good, especially with the sun out now. It feels good.
Oh, in front of the camera. I think that's a bottom hemi priestess piece. That's really cool. That's a good one. Those are pretty rare. I found a hemi. It's not a big one. And it's mostly intact, but not 100%. Oh, I see it. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Hold it up by your face. Oh my god. <laughs> what is oh my it? God. It's a full megalodon. <laughs> Dude, holy That's crap. It. Wow. <laughs> oh my Almost whole, just a little root missing, huh? God. <laughs> Told you we'd find one if we kept digging there, huh? <laughs> 